On 12 May 2016, President Yoram Seveni was sworn in to begin his 31st year in power, having garnered 68% in an election that pitted him against his former ally Amama Mbabazi and perennial challenger Dr. Kiza Besje. The president labeled his renewed term Chisanja Hakuna Mchezo, loosely translated from Kiswahili as a term of no jokes or business unusual. The president's tone of his governance in the next five years was emphatic on results. But Captain Edward Francis Babu, who is a former member of the NRM Stock Policy Organ, the Central Executive Committee, or SEC, says the president needs a mindset shift. He, he has stayed there so long, he has so, seen so many things, that he begins to think uh, certain things do not matter, but while they actually matter. Uh, he has failed to get a team a team he can rely on. In a no-holds-barred manner, Babu, who also served as a minister in several ministries and as MP for two terms, accused President Yoram Seveni of micromanaging the country, surrounding himself with praise singers instead of competent people, thereby affecting the progress of many projects. He, he now seems to be a loner. He goes to the market. He's the one who goes to small children. He's the one who goes to the poorer group to take money to them. He doesn't trust anybody. Um, a lot of people have gone to him and uh, have claimed. Today I read something very interesting. The way people go to him and uh, uh, deceive him with words. And, and, and I think the president has to sit down and have a completely mind shift on how to run the whole thing. The 2016-2021 NR Manifesto is themed on taking Uganda to modernity through job creation and inclusive development. It lists these five top priority areas, security, good governance, corruption, growth and development, youth and women. But critics say these have largely remained on paper. For instance, and agriculture, NRM promised to improve value addition, mechanize agriculture and make more water available for production. They work in silos. Uh, the, the, the different departments, different ministries, different agencies, they are doing their own things, um, which are not even aligned to what they committed they were going to do. Because look, the National Planning Authority recently, which is a government agency, came out and said uh, only about 58% of even the budget they are going to read is aligned to the development plan. We promise that we are going to complete the expansion of the, the, the Entebbe Express Highway. The work is about 90% completion rate. We pledge that we are going to expand Entebbe Airport. There is already work going on at the airport. We pledge that we are going to expand the northern bypass within the city. The, the work is going on. We pledge that all the municipalities are going to be given uh, uh, road equipment and all the districts are going to have road equipment and all that. And all these have been supplied and they are working. There appear to have been some action on the anti-corruption front when State Minister for Labor Michael Kalafonzachi and two senior officials from the Ministry of Finance were arrested and later charged in court for allegedly taking bribes and frustrating investors. But Babu says the president is still barking and not biting hard enough. May I quote the IGG? He said he's tired of uh, little fish. He wants big fish. Who are the big fish? In the last one year, Babu has lost out twice, a bit to return to parliament in the ruling NRM party primaries. He also lost in the race to represent Uganda in the East African Legislative Assembly, effectively leaving him in the political wilderness. I then asked Babu whether he's not speaking like that because he's now in the cold. No, I've always been the same, unfortunately. Um, I've always been very straightforward when it comes to, to honesty. I, I, I don't, there's nothing to sour grape on this one. These are facts. If there's anything that I've said that is not true, please say so. During the campaigns, President Museveni promised sanitary towels for primary school girls and giving hosts to rural communities. This I get to be fulfilled. When he talks of uh, hose to farmers, for example, that we are going to supply 8 million hose to farmers, under Minister of Agriculture and the Office of the Prime Minister, those two sectors now should sit and harmonize, plus Minister of Finance. Minister of Finance is very key into all this because it requires money. Come up with a plan and activity schedules that within this financial year, we shall supply this amount. With next financial year, we shall. 
That is the planning that we have been going through. The president has also been faulted on going for many huge infrastructure projects whose returns are long term, yet there are immediate challenges like high food prices. This, I think, we needed some gradualism in, a, in the way we, we adopted these good projects. And uh, perhaps we do a few roads in five years, then you plan for another five years to do others. But now we want to cover the huge gap which we accumulated over the years in a, a very limited time. The observers say President Museveni must appreciate a diversity in views and listen to his critics. Members of his team fear him. They cannot, they cannot come out and, 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 and sort of emphasize what they want to do because they are waiting for him to give them an order. But it's not been all gloom and doom. I know recently we've had security issues, but you can see the way they are responding also to it. All these exercises which some of us have been uh, uh, actually not happy with, uh, verifying our phones, doing that. And I think it's good for the security. And no economics can go on without security. So on that, I think they have been doing well. Besides, the president still has about four more years to fulfill some of his yet-to-be-kept promises. One also needs to look at the president's years in totality, since he has been in power for not just this past one year, but over three decades. The biggest challenge of President Tom Seven's rule, critics say, is structural, making political appointments and creating different power bases to try and shield himself from political risk. And they claim that if that is not addressed, we could see more of the same in the coming years. Shilandhuchri, NTV Kampala.